Summer is here and with that, summer features at the Egg and I. Nobody does breakfast or lunch better than they do and I'm here now with Steve, owner and operator. How are you, Steve? Pretty good, Justin. Excellent, so what are we making today? Um, this is going to be a chicken and roasted artichoke hash. This oh, a hash, really all right. Okay, so what do we do first? All right, well, we put a little bit of oil in the pan. Okay, what kind of oil are we using? Well, this is, it's phase oil, so it's okay. got a little butter flavor to it. Uh, Ooh, you can never have too much butter, as they say. <laughs> now, these are going to be, uh, these uh, dishes are going to be around till August 11th, I think you said? I believe or? it was 11th, yeah. Okay, excellent. Uh, I'm going to put, start with some, Whoa, look at that! <laughs> with some spinach. I should have brought tongs. I didn't bring my tongs today. We're gonna we're gonna fry that puppy right down for you here. <laughs> well these uh they'll wilt pretty quick and then they'll be sure yeah. Is that just kind of what you're trying to do is get them to wilt a little bit? Yeah. Then, okay. They take up a lot of space otherwise, I guess you could say. But hey, spinach is spinach, you know? That's right. It's important to get your uh, get your greens in. So for what do you want to do next? Let's throw some onions? All right. Yeah, why not? It's fine with me. Some onions in there. You're asking me what I'm, we're supposed to be doing. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to whole heap it all in there. Anyway. Okay. All right. <laughs> Looks like you got some potatoes here as well, some egg. Yeah. Well, it's a hash, so there's got to be some have potatoes some involved. Of course. Of course. <laughs> this is the artichoke heart. The secret ingredient. So these are quartered artichoke hearts in brine. Uh, we pour off the brine. Okay. All right. That's the surprise ingredient. I don't know if it's really a secret ingredient considering the name of the Instead, dish. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell where those artichokes came from. That, that's yeah, the that's secret it. right there. All right. Looks like you got some crumbled bacon up yeah, there. some crumbled bacon. We got some diced chicken breast. And I commented earlier about how uh, this was served with an English muffin, and I am <laughs> a sucker for English muffins, so uh, thanks for bringing that. You bet. But well, this is one of three. By default, it comes with English muffin, but you can substitute you can a lot substitute. of things. Sure. Different kinds of toast. You can get fruit, you can get yogurt. I mean, there, um, there's a, quite a long list of things you can substitute, but English muffin seems to work pretty well. <laughs> oh, I agree. I agree. English muffins go with just about anything. Now, this is one of uh, three different uh, menu options that you're featuring this summer. And uh, we're going to be, you can kind of stick around with the uh, uh, best of Wisconsin restaurants all summer long. Mm -hmm. And Steve will be here featuring the bacon and avocado egg sandwich, the summer and the summer berry waffle breakfast as well. So that should all be good. Mm -hmm. And of course, we've got some juice here. So yeah, well, we, we the juice this summer was the same one we had over the winter. That's the pineapple tonic. Okay. It's got a little bit of That's cucumber in it. Sure. Ginger. That makes it so refreshing, <laughs> that cucumber flavor. And of course, we still have the kale cooler. So. I've got to have the kale cooler. That's on the menu. That one's gone over so well. We just serve it all the time. Wow, that spinach cooked down real well. I can't believe. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe how much was in there, and it just looks right. like it's so, cooked down so much. Before we came on air today, I, I heated these the potatoes Those are up a little bit. All right, so. good to know. <clears throat> so oh we're my gosh, that smells so good. All this together. Oh, Try not yeah. to spill it everywhere. <laughs> Which you know. <laughs> Too hmm. late. Yeah, At least it didn't get spilled on the floor. We can still pick that up and toss that in there if we need to. Oh, yeah. It's, there's plenty in there. <laughs> um, so this kind of gets with mozzarella. This kind of gets its separate plate. It's a plate within a plate, it looks it's like. It's a plate on top of a plate. Okay. Great. Mozzarella. Ooh, Lots yeah. of mozzarella. Lots of matzo. All right. Now, this is an interesting little deal we have here. Okay, I was wondering what this is going to be. So this is, so, we're not done yet. I've done this before. This is my, uh, a pizza oven. Something you might, the part of the thing about this show is you can get restaurant results at home if you can get a little innovative. Sure. So I right. took the, uh, the rack out of the pizza oven. I took, you unscrew it, you take the face plate off, you take the hand, the little knobby thing off. Okay. That's what that deal is on the end. Turn it around backwards. Now you got a broiler. No kidding. So. Talk about innovation. Yeah, look at that. We're going to melt that cheese. So that's the idea. Maybe even brown it a little bit on top. Okay, so that's the idea is to melt the cheese a little bit and yep. make it, give it kind of a, maybe a little bit of a crust even. Is that kind of what we're hoping for? Uh, yeah, but if you get too far with it, yeah. Then it's, yeah. Melt it. <laughs> yeah, just melt it a little bit. All if right, you're comfortable with the crust, go ahead. <laughs> So this includes, this recipe includes all natural chicken, hardwood smoked bacon, uh, mixed with house roasted artichokes, mozzarella, spinach, onions, and seasoned ranch potatoes. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent, topped with two eggs, any style, fresh herbs served with an English muffin, you can't beat it. Only 880 calories for that. I mean, for a meal, that's a that's pretty decent, I would say. A goodly say. amount of that's in that cheese. Yeah, <laughs> yeah about 875 is, uh, is in the cheese. No? What is that? That's a low moisture part skim cheese, though. Even the cheese is a little bit on the lean side. It's a lean lean cheese, okay, that's good, that's good. And then the, the uh, pineapple tonic includes pineapple, orange, cucumber, lime, organic ginger, I might add, with some coconut water. I'm gonna take a sip of that while we're waiting that's for the cheese to really melt. Good. Oh, I can see it melting already. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Gotta have another one of those. Mm. I'm gonna turn this up so it doesn't ding on us here. Okay, no problem. Alright, that's uh that's alright. We're gonna take that. It's good enough for TV right now. <laughs> I mean, that looks good. I like that. I'm not done. <laughs> oh you're not done. Gotta, Sorry, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Here. A little bit here. There we go. Is that it? Oh you got what about the egg? And egg. Uh, oh the, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't use all my garnish. <laughs> the egg, I, unfortunately, I couldn't. Uh, I had to cook that oh, there. Wow, all right. Now we put the garnish. That's what I was supposed to do. It's got and two it, layers of garnish. Aren't we lucky today? Double the garnish. Now, what are you using to garnish it here? Um, it's parsley and chives. Let's Look at that. Chop it up real nice. Oh, wow, I like that. Beautiful. That's nice. Very nice. 880 calories for that. I mean, that's a big thing of food right there, and mm -hmm. it's. I think relatively guilt-free. You got some spinach in there, got a little bit of potatoes, got some lean meat and an egg. You can't go wrong Where with that. Where do you taste that, man? All right, yeah, I'm gonna taste it in just a second here. So, uh, What do you I'm think you're gonna do for us next month? Which one of these, the bacon avocado egg sandwich or the summer berry waffle breakfast? That's a tough one. The tough. waffle is easy, but the, the sandwich is really good, and I think it looks good too, so. All right. Ah, the waffle looks good too, though. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give this a try here. We only have one breakfast sandwich, and now we have another one, so I wanna bring this one around. All right. I think that'll be next. Well, I'm gonna sign off from here, but Steve, thank you so much for coming in today. This is the chicken and roasted artichoke hash over at the Egg and I. Go check it out. We'll be right back with more Best of Wisconsin Restaurant.